In this video, we will cover the ultrasound guided approach to the serratus anterior plane block. I'm going to cover the indications, the anatomy, the sonoanatomy and tips, and then show you some blocks. The indications for the serratus anterior plane block are chest wall trauma or injury and elective breast or thoracic surgery. So now let's cover some of the anatomy. We start off by looking at this image here from the 3D4 Medical Complete Anatomy app. We can highlight some of the muscles. So we zoom in over here, we've got pec major. Uh, as we come round on the lateral part of the chest wall, there indeed is serratus anterior, and posterior to it is latissimus dorsi. If we go in a little bit further, we're going to see the nerve that supplies serratus anterior. That is indeed the long thoracic nerve. Posterior to that is a thoracodorsal nerve that supplies uh, LD, and there's a thoracodorsal artery. If we remove serratus, you'll see immediately below it lie the ribs, and then in between the ribs are the intercostals. And then here is one of the branches of the or lateral cutaneous uh, part of the intercostal nerve. So you can see the lateral cutaneous branches of the intercostal nerve lie in that plane deep to serratus anterior. So now we're going to move on to the sonoanatomy, and I'm going to show you how to do the scanning. So I'm going to show you two aspects here. One of them coming from the anterior part of the chest wall will be come from over um, pec major and pec minor and the second part of the video we're going to start scanning a little bit further down on the chest wall and just scanning around the posterior aspect where we see serratus lying over the ribs so let's start with the first bit here's pec major overlying pec minor which is above the ribs and the pleura and you can see um, we're getting to the point where we keep scanning around here where pec minor will end and it will meet an anterior digitation of serratus anterior overlying a rib and if we keep scanning posteriorly, you will see that serratus anterior is the only muscle over the ribs. Same thing lower down, and here you can follow serratus anterior as it overlies all of the ribs. And now as we get far back enough, we'll see another muscle coming into view. That is latissimus dorsi overlying serratus anterior. And you see that anterior triangle of LD. The superficial uh, serratus anterior plane block involves injecting local anterior in that gap between LD and serratus, you need to hydrodissect out that plane. And the deep serratus anterior block involves injecting local anesthetic deep to serratus using that rib kind of as a stop gap and lifting serratus anterior up and out of the way of the ribs. That is now my preferred approach. So I'm gonna show you two blocks now, both the superficial approach uh, to the serratus anterior plane block and the deep. We're gonna start off with the superficial approach. Now here, we've got the patient lying on their side. The left-hand side of the screen is anterior. The right-hand side of the screen is posterior, and the needle is being introduced from the posterior aspect. So as you have a look here, you'll see the needle going through LD, aiming to pop into that gap between LD and serratus anterior, inject local anesthetic, and there you see that lovely unzippering. And then I'm gonna see if I can advance that needle into that plane between uh, latissimus dorsi and serratus anterior and open up that space. So that's a superficial serratus anterior plane block. And um, forgive the slightly overgained image now. Now I'm going to show you a deep block. And here, this time the patient is lying supine, but the needle is going to come from the anterior aspect. So we've got the patient lying supine, arm abducted, and the needle is going to come from anterior to posterior. And we're going to use the rib as a stopgap. So here comes the needle, it's going to pop through the skin and the tissue, go through the anterior part of LD make contact with the rib and aim to lift serratus anterior up and out of the way. So that first injection is a bit intramuscular, then I've just gone a little bit deeper and look now you can see serratus anterior lifting up and out of the way and I'm just gonna sort of hydrodissect a little bit into that space and pass the needle a little bit further backwards and there you can see the muscle lifting right the way out of the way. So that's a deep serratus anterior plane block. So we talked about the indications for chest trauma or surgery and um, this block can be performed in the supine position but sometimes uh, you can uh, opt to turn the patient into the lateral position and sometimes I find it easier to come from the posterior aspect. If you are going to do it in the supine position drive the probe as far down as you can so you do see the anterior triangle of latissimus dorsi coming into view. It tends not to be a very deep block Depending upon the size of the patient, how deep it is, you will determine the size of needle that you use. I often use an 80 millimeter needle. And um, this is a volume block. And the core structures that you need to identify are those muscles, serratus anterior and latissimus dorsi. If you don't see LD, drive the probe for as far posterior as you can. You want to see the ribs and the pleura. And if you can identify the thoracodorsal artery, that's great just to make sure you avoid it. Many thanks.